It's day one of a journey deep into the Amazon rainforest. Lucio Tayori is a member of the Harakamba tribe. He is searching for something he says could save his ancestral land from being exploited for oil and natural gas. The elders of the tribe say there's an ancient Incan ruin somewhere near here at the top of a mountain. No one on the trip knows if the ruin exists. The tribe says their future depends on finding it. It is said that Harakamu culture is as old as the world. It's not just a forest or a nature preserve. There's history here. In 2002, the Peruvian government declared the Harakambat's ancestral land a protected reserve. But the land is thought to contain a massive amount of natural gas. And in 2006, the government gave Texas-based Hunt Oil the rights to lay explosive survey lines. Hunt's rights are contingent on the land containing nothing of cultural or historical significance. But if the Harakambat can find the Incan ruin, Hunt and two other companies that now have rights to look for gas may have to stop work in the reserve. The passengers in this boat are Monica de la Vega and Victor Hugo Evangelista Reyes, two archaeologists from Peru's Ministry of Culture. It will be up to the ministry to decide whether any ruin is culturally significant. My grandparents lived here. My father did too. We're now going to enter the Amaracari Communal Reserve, where we're going to the Inca House, or Inca Hawk. What are you hoping for with the support from the Ministry of Culture? That the area fulfills the objective it was created for, the protection and preservation of the river basins. That way, we also ensure the next generation, not only of Harakambut, but also of everyone that depends on this river. Day three of the journey. Lucio is marking the trail so those who have fallen behind will know which way to go. A gap has opened up between the Harakambut guides and the ministry officials. It's been raining hard, and the rivers are rising. The currents are strong and dangerous, and the team is not sure of the way. Monica from the ministry is struggling to keep up. She injured her leg and is frustrated that the trip is taking longer than expected. He says this is going to take another week. She wants to turn back, and if her fellow archaeologist goes with her, then Lucio's mission will fail. I don't think we're really understanding each other here. You can continue doing your job for months, years, into the farthest reaches of the rainforest. I mean, if that's your job, good for you. I have only a week here. I have only a week here, because that's my assignment. Just as they send me here, I have to visit other sites, too. Monica refuses to go on, hoping he can save the trip. And because Monica is hurt, Lucio carries her back down through the night. In the end, Lucio won't make it to the top to see what's there.
But Victor Hugo, the other archaeologist, agrees to continue. Finally, after 11 hours of hiking that day, they reach the summit. Of the 36 people who've come, I think only half have been able to reach this site. The elders talked of this place as a grand villa, but there is almost nothing here. Just what looks like the remnants of a foundation. Victor suspects treasure hunters have defaced the ruins, carving graffiti into them. The task of this mission was the reconnaissance and prospecting of the archaeological site Inca House, as the people from the Amaracari Reserve call it. Victor assesses the remains. As for the archaeological site, I have verified all the evidence. From what could be seen, yes, there really are pre-Hispanic architectural structures, which I define as an archaeological site. It is possible the Incas, our forefathers, have actually been in this place. Hunt Oil has said it will stop work in this area if archaeological ruins are discovered. The decision now rests with the Ministry of Culture, which will assess what the Harakambut have found. They aren't much, but these few stones could help determine the fate of the tribe's homeland. <laughs>